Welcome back to a new video in the Data Governance Interview Questions series. In this video, I'll walk you through the type of questions that you might get in a data governance interview that are meant for the interviewer to better gauge your previous data governance experience. Similar to the previous video on data governance interview questions, these questions have been compiled from my own experience and that of other data governance professionals, but also from the community of Glassdoor, LinkedIn, and Indeed.com. Please stay until the end as I'll also address the open-ended question meant to best gauge your experience. But don't fret. I mean, for the most part, it's also a way for you to highlight different parts of your experience that you've listed on your resume. Now let's get into this set of 10 data governance interview questions. So tell me, uh, what was your biggest accomplishment in data governance? It could be the fact that you've implemented an entire data governance program, or the fact that you've had the organization adopt a business glossary, or even how you've turned a major stakeholder around and had him become the biggest supporter of data governance, which is not an easy thing to do, by the way. They could also flip this question around and ask what the biggest challenge was. Yeah. Why don't you tell me that? What, what is the biggest challenge in data governance that you've had? I'll leave this to you here as I don't know what your challenges have been, but I recommend choosing a challenge that you've overcome and also mention how you've done that as well. This is actually one of Elon Musk's favorite questions to ask, not on data governance, but just for interviewing for any role really. He's usually asking, tell me about some of the most difficult problems you worked on and how you solved them. Those who actually know what they're talking about are inclined to go into detail, exhaustive detail sometimes. While those who have to rely on BS will often gloss over the fine points, which they don't know. Key takeaway, don't be afraid of going into detail. Though if you feel it will take you a long time to provide a full answer, you can also ask how much detail do they want you to go into? And you know what? I guess they could always interrupt you, and that's not a bad thing. How did you track progress in your data governance program? How did you measure success? Ah, I love this question. I mean, there are many metrics and different KPIs that you can measure so that you can track the progress of your data governance program. You can track things such as improvement of data quality dimensions, and there are several. Number of certified data stewards, the percentage of cost savings, number of data policies implemented, number of published terms in the business glossary, and many more. I recommend to check out this video on how to create a data governance scorecard to get an idea for some of the things that you can track progress against. So why don't you tell me how many data domains were there involved in the data governance program scope? In here, they are trying to better gauge the maturity of the program that you've worked with in the past, the complexity of the organization, but even more so, how relevant to the role that you're interviewing for is your experience in working with similar types of data. That's why they might also follow up with, what were those data domains that you're listing here? By the way, on average, an organization would have somewhere between, let's say, five to 10 data domains, out of which it prioritizes two to three in the early stages of a data governance program. You can also be asked about how many data systems or data sources were included in your data governance efforts. Well, I guess you would know the answer to this one, but after you respond, if you want a complete killer answer, my recommendation is to mention that a data governance program should not be modeled after a particular system or with a particular software application in mind, but its scope should be on the data domains. That way, your program is technology agnostic, but more importantly, it will better address the needs of the business and not the view imposed by the current technology. What about data governance tools? Any particular solutions or software that you have used in the past? Do you mind telling us a little bit more about that? So as most videos, I'm keeping this video software agnostic, but you know what to list here. Just mention the tools and the software that you've used. And if you don't have experience with any data governance specific tools, that's fine. Maybe the organization didn't have budget for it. That's really understandable. So you can mention how you've repurposed some tools, even Excel, just for different data governance tasks. Depending on how you've answered that, they could also follow up with how effective were these tools? I think this is a cheeky question because the interviewer might actually learn something from you 
if they haven't used the tools in question. So sometimes the question is asked more of a curiosity as maybe they're also looking to adopt that tool. But more often, it's asked for three other reasons. First is to gauge your know-how of the tool to see if they could rely on you to onboard that tool or something similar within their own environment. Second is to see what solutions you came up with to address the ineffectiveness of a particular part of the tool. Because when something doesn't work, at least as we would like it to, we tend to make some customizations or look towards another tool or augment the process to make it work better. In the end, they're just trying to gauge your solution finding ability. And lastly, they want to gauge your involvement with the tool. And if you're just an end user or a power user, or if you had an administrative type role, as well as how technical your knowledge and experience it is with that software or that tool. And if they can gauge that from your answer, they might also ask point blank and what was your involvement with these tools? Boy, I mean, this would be the third question about a tool. If you're asked so many questions about tools, it's usually a good indicator that the company has invested or will invest in at least one data governance tool. This also speaks highly of their understanding of the importance of data governance and that they won't expect that you'll manage everything in Excel alone. But now this is also your chance to ask about their tools or their plans to invest in these resources. But I'll address more in the video about questions you should ask in a data governance interview. Until then, please like the video if you've enjoyed it so far and don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on upcoming content. Can you please give me an example on how you've tried to get somebody on board with data governance? Obviously, you would have your own story. But in the end, I think that to win somebody over and get them on board a data governance program is to get them tuned into the WIIFM, which is the famous acronym for what's in it for me. Yeah, what's in it for me? Data governance needs to be relevant to the unit or even the individual that you're trying to get on board. It needs to address their pain points and their needs. That's really the first important thing to the individual. How would data governance solve their problems? How would it solve their pain points? If they can see that path between data governance and a solution to their issues, they will be more likely to be on board. And you know what? Even if you didn't win them over, you can still mention your approach as in the end, the interviewer also wants to gauge your own style. Tell me about your previous experience with data stewards or even data stakeholders or data owners. This is a bit of an open-ended question, as you can see. So you can definitely mention a few different things here. If you had a data governance council, I would highlight that first. Mention the frequency of the meetings, composition of the council, you know, how many data owners and lead data stewards you had, and their engagement. If you didn't have a council, that's fine too. You can talk about the areas of data governance that had you working closer with these data stakeholders and data owners. It could have been around the development of a policy or defining some business terms or identifying the root cause of a data quality issue and then resolving it. Reporting on the progress of data governance, establishing and rolling out a new process for improving the acquisition and creation of data, or even creating the business case for the data governance program. As you can see, there are a lot of areas where you can draw from. So I recommend mentioning it all briefly, but then ask if they would like you to go into more detail on a particular example. The idea is to signal the breadth of your data governance experience. And that's kind of the point of the question as well. Did you interview for a data governance or a data management role? What questions were you asked? Let me know in the comments below. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, thank you for watching.